take a tighter the virus will live in your house so when you pay your tight i jehovah i will rebuke the devourer are you with me here i said are you with me here so how how do i get the things I, i'm believing god for whatever a man so eh? I'm believing God for money, I sow money. I'm believing God for a car, I sow money. I'm believing God for a job, I sow money. I'm believing God for promotion, I sow money. I'm believing God for a wife, I sow money. I'm believing God for a husband, I sow money. I'm believing God for children, I sow money. Somebody said to me, You like money too much. Of course. You you don't like. Somebody says, so why will I sow money if I'm believing God for wife? You want to sow wife? Do you have? And somebody says, why do I sow money if I'm believing God for children? You want to sow children? One man took a fraud. If you don't pay your tithe, it will be tight. It's a lie. Say, if you don't pay your tithe, devourers will come. It's a lie. You see, if you give offering and you don't pay tight, your blessings are not insured. Well, well done, insurance company. <laughs> well done, insurance company. How much did you pay for Jesus to die? You didn't pay anything, Jesus died. He died for you without paying something. Then now to insure you, you have to tap. You have to tap. How much? For as much as you know that you were not redeemed with corruptible things such as silver and gold but by the precious blood of Jesus as of a lamb without blemish I'm teaching with shout I hear you leave that thing preachers be careful oh we will see Jesus all this one you are attacking Damina attacking Damina attack why is it that all of a sudden it's only me they are attacking even today in their churches I am the center of their message why shouldn't that tell you something organized religion is collapsing like a pack of cards because everybody's eyes are opening and people are checking what i'm teaching why don't you teach so um let's say the previous video is a video of ebe damina supporting pay paying of tight in fact he said if you don't pay tight divorce will stay in your heart he even went ahead to say like if you need a baby, you need to, you know, sow seed of money. You, anything you need, you need to sow seed of money. And then, some years after, Ebe Damina came back to tell us that, in fact, I mean, this, this guy has preached a lot of messages that paradoxical to what he has preached, followed and believed in the past. He said sometime that he has apologized for all the preachings of uh, supporting tight and all of that prosperity preaching is made I haven't seen some of those videos in fact he went ahead to say that when bible said that god will the blessings of god make it rich and i don't know so it's about riches of god's goodness it's not about you know uh, material prosperity it's not about physical prosperity it's not about you know the riches of this earth i don't really know if he will be able to fly to London, to USA, where they might invite him. If money is not used to facilitate his transportation and even those that want to follow him. Let's say he has a church building. The building may not have been raised with his own pocket. You know? It was raised by capable hands, wealthy people who contributed money for the church building to be raised. So the the way Abel Damina is going, just like Bishop David the Edipo of Winner's Chapel, he said, you cannot be in a football game. You are a player and you are at the same time the referee. You are a minister of the gospel. You cannot be at the same time judging and condemning and giving verdict which one is the right gospel or the wrong gospel. Tight this for the past two to three years, this guy has been revolving around paying of tight not payment of tight and not just that in that god is not in heaven he, i mean there are a lot of controversial preachings or someone he gave 
out there which has come somehow confused a lot of people why can't he just preach the gospel and tight is not forced nobody is forced to pay tight but it's a commandment from heaven that Christians should pay tight and he has made it his own personal topic saying that tight is this tight is that tight is this tight is that in fact his main message now is to just go and watch the messages that are preached by you know renowned men of God and criticize it condemn it that's what his current you know commission or mandate is which I believe we take him nowhere